Hi, I'm Brad, a Tesla Model X owner, and just got done watching Ellie and Space's video on how um, Tesla insurance can save you money. I'd learned one new trick on it, and also looked at my last month's driving and found a few interesting things. Okay, I'm going to start showing a couple things from the Tesla app. Um, I'm going to actually start here with my charge stats, just because that's a pretty interesting one for this month. Um, over here, I've driven home from Maine and did a lot of supercharging. And then right here, I did a quick trip to Florida to check out the damage from Hurricane Ian. And you can see I've saved, according to Tesla calculations, I've saved $648 on gas this month. Um, also, just now I get free supercharging since I've had my Tesla so long and got in early. Uh, I've had it for four years now, so... I do end up spending more time at the superchargers than the newer ones, but I don't have to pay, so that helps. But here's the new stuff I learned from Ellie. If I go to my safety score, I can click in this top right button up here, and down here, hopefully you can see this on the video, you see I've driven, last month I've driven 4,610 miles, 4,009 of them have been on autopilot. So another thing you can do is scroll down here and check your daily breakdowns. Um, it's been a busy month for me. I drove the car most every day. But we can look back at October 7th. was one of my big days. Um, if while you're on the daily details, you hit the same button up in the upper right corner. You can look at your <coughs> driving miles. I did 874 that day. 839 which is an autopilot um and these, my drive to florida was stretched over two days so if i did it all on all on the same day it would be um be a little bit more yeah there's something else to note too i left from florida and got a lot of hard braking that day and it's it's a lot harder to keep your safety score up in florida my safety score for October 6th is 89, and I was in Florida, got on the highway, pretty much started driving straight home. My miles for that day were 299, 270, which were on autopilot, which I try to use autopilot a lot. I guess if we look back here and go back to the next day, my safety score is really good, 97. That's because I finished in Ohio. So much easier to drive in Ohio. Keep a higher safety score. Let's see, we can scroll through my days real quick. You can see my biggest trouble, I guess, is hard braking for my normal driving. And then that unsafe following. Some days, some days they'll get you for that, even when I don't think you follow that closely. I know I follow, autopilot follows closer than I do. Anyways, um, trying to think of one other. Okay, I'll finish up with one last thing on the safety score. As you scroll through, you can look back at the details of your last month on when things have affected you. Forward collision war warnings are pretty low, except for two days. Hard braking, which I guess is consistently a little bit of a problem for me. And then aggressive turning which I don't do too bad there. And then here I find this interesting, the unsafe following. Um, and I think this big spike right here actually was in some of the traffic jams I was, I was in trying to get out of Florida. Um, <clears throat> coming back after Hurricane Ian, um, there was traffic on I-75 North was pretty bad at several spots too, but fortunately I wasn't going south. Um, there's a whole lot of traffic going back south, people going home. Anyways, uh, oh, one last thing too, with the Tesla safety score, notice there ain't no, ain't no, there's no characteristic for acceleration. And I've noted a long time ago when I was trying to get my full self-driving beta that uh, acceleration does not impact your safety score. So have fun and accelerate as fast as you want. All right. I'm Brad and hopefully this has helped you um, learn a little bit more about the safety score and the Tesla app. 
if you like my channel, um, just getting it up and going, please like and subscribe. And I'll hopefully get some more videos for you. I'm Brad and I'm out for now.